Let's try a couple more examples with writing the equations of inverse functions. So we know that the g of x is basically like a y. So we essentially have y equals 2x plus 8 over 5. And then we want to switch the x's and y's. So we're going to have x equals 2y plus 8 over 5. Well, the first thing that I want to do here is I want to get rid of that 5. So I'm going to multiply by 5 on both sides. And I'm left with 5x equals 2y plus 8. Now I want to keep getting closer to getting that y alone, so I'm going to subtract 8. I'm left with 5x minus 8 equals 2y. And lastly, get that y by itself by dividing by 2. And we divide everything. So I'm left with y equals 5x minus 8 over 2. And that would be my inverse. Now we can also write it as over g, the negative 1 of x. And why don't we split that up so it's in slope-intercept form. We have 5 over 2x minus, well, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So here's my inverse of this function right here. Let's try one more problem. So we're going to switch our x's and y's first. So I'm going to have x equals 1 half y plus 4 minus 3. Oh man, we got fractions. I love fractions. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Let's see here. I'm going to distribute that. I'm going to have x equals 1 half y. 1 half times 4 is 2. And then we have that minus 3 out there. Let's combine our like terms. x equals 1 half y minus 1. Let's add that 1. We get x plus 1 equals 1 half y. And then lastly, I want to divide by 1 half to get that y alone, which is basically like multiplying both sides by 2. And that's going to be the entire side over here. So what I'm left with is y, remember that's the inverse now, equals well 2 times x plus 1. Let's distribute that. 2x plus 2. And we can also write that with our function notation. f to the negative 1 of x equals 2x plus 2. There's my inverse of that function. So to recap, we switch our x's and y's. Then we resolve the equation for y. Now some equations are going to be more difficult than others to solve. This one was a little bit more difficult. It had quite a few steps. You had to deal with that awful, awful fraction there. But you guys can handle it because you're pros. And we have two different notations. We can either have y to the negative 1 or we can use our function notation f to the negative 1 of x. But you got to have that negative 1 there to tell me that it is the inverse. you got to have it.